Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games here on Shogi Wars. Good luck. Well, it looks like I could go to this game. We'll continue playing third fall work. Um, you know, I've always wanted to try this. So here we go. Well, that's surprising. All right. Oh, I guess they just moved the king. Ah, uh, I can never get this timing right. Ever. I'm amused, though. All right, we tried. <laughs> Someday I'll remember to try this before they move the king once. Someday. No promises when. Just some generic promise that eventually I'll maybe remember this. Um, hmm. Isn't this fun? Uh. What a hot mess. <laughs> what an extremely hot mess. Maybe I should have put that behind the bishop instead of in front of it. But it feels more aggressive this way. Um... Mm-hmm. <laughs> ah, we're freestyling. I guess this is what happens. This, uh, getting a strong opponent is what happens after you win enough games in succession. Um, we have a decently strong opponent. Um, and I don't know how to play this position. If I retreat, seemingly not all is lost here. Mm -hmm. Do I do bishop takes? Or is that too weak? Um, let's try bishop takes. All right. This is not what we dreamed of when we started the game, but we have some chances. Mm-hmm. If only I had my bishop on 5-5 five five already, I could be sacrificing it for the silver. Um, if only. Okay. Um... We'll see how bad this idea is. It looks fun. We play fun moves, but this might be too much. One idea is to take the lance. Another idea is just to retreat the bishop. And, you know, that's fine. We didn't get to do the 5-5 five, five fork, but that's okay. Um... Okay. Mm 
I guess we should take the free piece while it's offered. And a promotion too. So this gets dicey if the opponent launches a really heavy counterattack and the counterattack is successful. But if they don't do both of those things, then this is fine. Interesting. Nanafun. Hmm. Okay, let's up the stakes a bit. So each live stream I seem to have at least one technical difficulty. Today it's that my audio was too quiet at the beginning. And we fixed it pretty quickly. Um, hmm. All right, they're going to drop something here. Oh, they could drop a rook here to cut me off. That I did not bank on. Mm -hmm. Um, that's odd. Oh no, bishop takes lance as the threat. Uh, the veiled threat. All right. Mm -hmm. Where do I drop? Go home. Yeah, this is fine. I guess the bad part about the situation is that um, my lance in the corner is hanging. So I got a knight, and I have a lance. And we'll find some way to use them. Mm -hmm.
Our opponent isn't interested in dropping all their pieces in defense. But that's what I'm trying to force. At least that's the first thing I'm trying to force them to do. Um... Strange. They're trying to encourage me to play a weak move. The weak move in question being um, dropping my remaining bishop to hit this. But that doesn't go anywhere. Uh-huh. Hmm. I could have attacked the king directly, couldn't I? Probably should have. Oh, because then this point is loose. Okay, well... If the silver moves up, this is hanging. And if this is hanging, stuff moves. New targets for. Oh, actually, whichever piece blocks this, um, this would hang. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pawn drop is the right counter. Yeah, that's not pawn drop. Hmm? Hmm. My attack is sad. Oh. Okay. My opponent is paying attention to my attack for some reason. I don't know why.
1分。Ash Nikes. That costs a horse more than I thought it would. Uh, okay, it's fine. Thought I had a plan here. Oh, that's kind of a plan, isn't it? Whatever. <sighs> Alright, so we lost a bishop for no reason. No good reason, anyway. Um... Mm hmm. Such as time pressure. Mm -hmm. Oh well. This game we made an effort. Hmm. This is no good. Um. Twenty what can I do? Jubio. Our opponent plays well and pays attention to what their opponent is doing. Thanks for the game. I fully expected them to make that exchange because retreating just allows me to promote repeatedly, but oh well. One down, two to go. Good luck. So that's the sort of difference in skill there is between 1Q and 1Don on this website. 1Qs find a lot of good ideas. One Dons consistently play decent moves. That's the disparity. Hmm. The chicken. All right. I've not seen that before, or if I have, it's been a while. Um, either way, it's cute. Alright, so I spent two moves trying to defend my king. Um, whoa. 
okay. I didn't think we'd end up going here, but here we are. Mm -hmm. All right, so I've activated my Rook. Interesting. All right. Wow, we're seeing a lot of fun moves today. Um, shall we do the tactic to this opponent that the last opponent used on us? With the rook going up and then swinging over and taking a piece? Or some variation of, like, this sort of thing? Because it felt like last game we had a few of those delivered. And it would only be fair if I got to play one of them, right? The opponent did dodge this king rook fork, which would have happened if they pushed the pawn too quickly and hadn't, like, done this. Um, but no, this is unpleasant. They have not castled. The king is wide open. The rook has a good activity. The bishop in hand is quite active, but um, it's not paradise. So, here we go. Uh -huh. What do I do about the bishop? I've just kind of ignored it for a second, but I do need a plan. Um, Maybe I should have done that a move ago. I don't know. The thing I don't like about this is that my own bishop is kind of trapped. Um, the thing I like is that there's a lot of targets. This is the other thing I like. Is that they don't have anything in hand at this time. Still threatening the silver, sure. Uh, and then this blocks their own bishop. Not sure what that does. Like, if the silver were not here, maybe this does something. Um, or if more pieces exchange, or if I just forget about the attack, then that pawn drop does something. As it stands, it doesn't seem to do very much.
Okay, so this is what they've been lining up. Nana fun. I anticipate this pawn advance, and I want their silver to not support it. Oh, actually, now I'm also threatening a bishop drop to aim at something big. Wow. Um, my threatened drop is not as good as other threats, like this pawn drop. That might hurt. Many times they saw this fork, but one time they forgot about it. Unfortunately, that's just how the game goes. So, I have a dragon, and my bishop will be able to join the dragon in attacking this square. Um, but maybe that's not the right way. Actually, yeah, I can bring the bishop out and then move the dragon to one of these places. Oh, but they have a pawn drop. Damn pesky pawn drop. Hmm. Trying to confirm the whereabouts of their king. Again, I forget that pawn drops are a thing in this game. No, they do this pawn drop. I guess I take the lance or something. I don't know. Maybe I take the gold, actually. Yeah. That's interesting. Um, (laughs) 
But yeah, this entire game, the silver has been hanging, and I just have had no need to capture it. I am aware, and each turn I'm looking at this, but this attack just keeps going. Um, now if I don't take this, then the attack stops, so like we gotta take this, right? It's just such a brutal attack. So next, I think I'm threatening bishop takes bishop. I'm considering if the king runs to have something better, but... Um... This prevents the king from escaping out the front. Mm -hmm. um, I want to prevent this escape too. How? Two down, one to go. Good luck. I'm still thinking about the final position in the last game. It, there's a lot to consider. I mean, yeah, it's clearly won, but still. There's much to consider. All right, I've tried this before. The problem with doing that sort of thing is that the rook... I mean, say what you will about this. The rook's not that powerful a piece. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know where they're castling. Oh, I've made this mistake before. Oh, that's not good. Um, hmm. So I've given up my center pawn, which gives you some idea of what I think about this. Um, yeah, if my rook were not hanging, I could take this and threaten to take that. Which is what I was planning until I realized that if I take here, I lose my rook. And this loses the bishop too, so... So we slow down the opponent's attack and suffer a lot. Um, mm 
Hmm. Okay, I defend my rook, which was hanging until an instant ago. I mean, yeah, I could have considered moving the knight instead of moving the rook, but this looked interesting. Um, and if this gold moves, things get sharp. I can apparently drop a rook here and then start taking things. So this bishop might... The reason I started looking for this is because this bishop drop is really heavy. Uh, so I'm thinking there's something I can do uh, in this instant until they have captured one of my pieces. And in this instant, we can promote this rook. Um, that gets my rook surrounded. Uh, what next? I mean, maybe I should have dropped in the opposing camp again, or the opponent's camp again, but I didn't see a crushing blow here. So I'm taking one turn to defend this and activate my silver. This is precarious, but I don't see how a pawn breaks my shape. Because I didn't see this pawn drop. Um, but maybe this pawn drop's not lethal. Maybe. Um, hmm. I still don't know what I'm going to do next. Potentially the knight goes up and then I drop a rook here. Maybe. Um. Hmm. It's a hot, hot mess. Oh, yes. It's a hot, hot mess. Oh, yes. All right. So, yeah, I guess Rook 8-8 is the idea. Um, Part of the inspiration for this is that, like, if I try taking the pawn, their attack just accelerates. So, I need something that doesn't completely accelerate their attack. Mm -hmm. I remove the lance that supports their attack. I might remove this lance next. I was going to chuckle a little about this, but it's so dicey. You don't tend to think of lances as being, like, the foundation upon which your entire attack rests. But that might be the case here. Um...
So I see a weakness here and a weakness there. I'm not going to get both of these for free unless something really weird happens. I could have dropped it up one square in the rook behind it. I missed that. Shit. That would have been a really, really nice find. It's fine, though. I can just get another lance. They're going to have every incentive to attack my bishop, and they do. Um, hmm. Oh, the rook is not supported. Um, I'll live with this. That's a good move. Go hmm. The opponent has four pawns hiding behind that. The background, like, kind of sometimes matches the pawn count and makes it difficult to see how many pieces the opponent has. That's a flaw in this website. Welcome, transport. 
Good to hear your words of wisdom, as always. What other things, what other information can you bestow upon us today? Also, yes, this is not the finest showing by this two-down opponent. There's no way that this is the finest showing that this opponent has shown so far. And the way we know that is that my position is actually good for once. Um, like, extremely good. Uh, so... Yeah, we just keep taking all the things. Even Lawnmower Shogi wins with this kind of situation. Oh, my opponent has no checks. I'm sorry, they actually do have one check and I missed it. Um, I'm just a bit distressed here, in case it's not obvious. Nifun.
1分Still have Rook Drop. It's still there. We won the game. Alright. Hopefully you enjoyed this session. I see. Yeah, no, this... I don't know what happened this last game, and it would not surprise me if at some point there was actually a checkmate against me. Um, that would not surprise me. I guess your question about why not mate in two, if it was something I could have played, it's the reason I didn't play it is I just missed it. Uh, this website has a time control, which is not really conducive for learning the game, but it is conducive for pointing out many mistakes very quickly. Okay. Yeah. Thinking a second time about what you stated, that's how I reinterpreted it, and yeah, that, that makes sense. I just completely missed the maiden too, because I'm bad at checkmates. Uh, but anyway, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.